Hello, my name is Monty. I've since a child I was uh, quite shy, but lived a, a normal life. Um, hit my teens and became an alcoholic, took drugs. Uh, later in life, in my late twenties, I began to suffer from panic attacks and agoraphobia. That was possibly caused due to the uh, too much alcohol and and the sort of life I was living. Um, the panic attacks would last, well, I suppose I suffered for them, from them for three to five years. I really can't remember now. I know that when I did, uh, I thought I was dying. My, my heart would race. Uh, I'd go gray. My breathing would, was affected. Uh, I would um, lose all sense of what was going on around me and all I wanted to do was run somewhere safe and, and this went on for yeah a few years uh, it became so bad that I was virtually housebound uh, I was addicted to medication to to get to work and, and lead a normal life um, I went to doctors psychiatrists psychologists and I learned three forms of med meditation to to get well to learn to cope and live with what I had because I was told that there was no cure. So in desperation I, I turned to God and um, I met some people that told me about miracles and I followed up on what they said and in February 1993 uh, my life changed. Uh, God came into my life and, and totally changed my life. Um, from that time I slowly realized that, that I was getting better. Medication that I was addicted to, that was my first thought every time I got out of bed was, where's that little white pill? I've got to have it, and I've got to take some with me just in case. Those thoughts weren't in my head anymore. And it was a, it was a gradual process, but I'd believe these people that they told me God had healed people. So I would pray to God every day just to be healed. Selfish, I know, but that's, that's what I wanted. And he was true and faithful to his word. Probably six or seven months later, I didn't notice as much as people around me. I, I remember somebody coming up to me and said, look at you, Monty, you're, you're walking around and, and you're talking to people after the meeting. And after, a, you know, I, I couldn't do those things. I couldn't look people in the eye. I couldn't hold a conversation. I really didn't have many social skills, uh, but that all changed. And I, I didn't recognize that myself until really it was pointed out to me and my life it's fear free now. It, it's great just to have peace and contentment and not to, not to worry and not to freak out and not to panic. And it is a wonderful life and it's a wonderful thing that God has done for me. Amen.